I've been out of town and took a much needed social media break from creating, but I knew something was afoot. When I started seeing tweets from people who never discuss royal stuff, talking about Kate Middleton and her whereabouts. And I am happy to help, but first I wanted to figure out why now? Why are people talking about this now? Kate has not been seen in public for two months. Let's get into it all. It was announced on January 18th that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, had just had a successful abdominal surgery. It made it clear that it was not cancerous, but the amount of time she was expected to be out of the public eye was curious. It said that she would not resume public duties till probably after Easter. That was back in January. And we have not seen her since. The only update we have received is when they said that she was at home and resting. There's been conflicting reports about where she's resting. Prince William made a lovely comment about Filipino nurses helping her out. The nationality was not important here. Most recently, they put out a statement that Kate is recovering nicely. Why do they feel compelled to do that? Well, it's been an interesting year for the royal family. Just a few weeks ago, it was announced that King Charles has cancer. He had gone in for an enlarged prostate procedure in which they discovered another kind of cancer. The palace made it clear that it is not prostate cancer. We had pictures of him leaving the hospital. We did not have pictures of Kate doing the same. He's put out a message expressing his gratitude for the support he's received. And just a few days ago, a video came out of Charles going through some of the well wishes he has received. Because a lot of people are saying, well, can't they just like have Kate in a bathrobe and take a picture of her or, or or do something just to show uh, proof of life and that everything's cool? No. People get mad when these women do not wear pantyhose. If you think for one second they are going to prop Catherine up in bed in a sumptuous robe for a social media post, yeah, you mind. But are they unwilling to do a photo of Catherine at her desk or is she unable to? The problem with the lack of information from Kensington Palace has led to a breeding ground where rumors can fester. And some of them you would think that the palace would really want for that speculation to go away. Obviously, everyone deserves a right to privacy. There are things that Kensington Palace could do to both reassure the public, stop some of the rumors without invading her privacy or revealing too much. Is the future queen being out of commission for two months and nobody knows what's going on and the media doesn't have any interest in finding out apparently. The same British media system, famous for their conjecture and speculation and no amount of lack of facts ever gets in their way, except apparently when it comes to Catherine. And it goes to show you, some people get to have different relationships with the media. Some people are protected. Some people get to have privacy, others do not. Also really makes you think about who gets leaked about from the palace and who does not. This has been airtight. This honestly goes back to the role in media of creating versus reporting on a story. Total absence for two months and lack of any information on the Princess of Wales's health is something that should be dug into and reported on. Public doesn't need to know everything, but they deserve to know more than they're getting. And I don't think this is the media being respectful of Catherine's privacy. I think this has more to do with fear of losing access. Also understanding that as we've seen with Charles, painting the future heir or spouse to the heir in a bad light does not do well for the monarchy's popularity. But this just feels so reminiscent from a media perspective of the turn up toff rumors involving Kate, Rose, and Prince William, where the media, including one Dan Wooten, were digging into this story and starting to report on it, and suddenly it came to a screeching halt and those articles were removed. Dan Wooten's case, he went from a showbiz editor to having really incredible inside scoops on Harry and Meghan. How did that happen? The only reason we even received an update on Catherine's health this week was because Prince William missed a memorial service for a personal matter, and they wanted to make sure people knew it wasn't about Kate. If you want people to stop speculating, give a little more. We, we know now that you can give a statement when you want to. When it relates to Prince William, the memorial service was for King Constantine. Recall Philip's mother was from Greece, and William, I believe, was supposed to speak at it or lead it or do something, but basically since he pulled out, that fell to Camilla. Which means we got to enjoy a Prince Andrew sighting. Yes, they still let that man out in public. The timing of Prince William pulling out is also interesting because there was a shocking death this week. Lady Gabriella Windsor, who is the daughter of Prince and Princess Michael Kent. Yes, her mother is the old lady that wore the Blackamoor brooch to meet Meghan Markle and named her sheep Venus and Serena. Obviously very shocking and very sad. The couple had only wed a couple of years ago and he was found unresponsive and dead at 45. There was no underlying 
medical condition or, or anything else that we know of. So I think it's really the perfect storm, the presence of King Charles, this shocking death, Prince William pulling out of a memorial service for a private matter that prompted the palace to say, hey, Kate's resting, she's doing fine. This has nothing to do to Kate, nothing to see here. She hasn't been seen in public for two months. Yeah, that's gonna catch the eye of people who normally are not into the royal conversation. Very interested to see if Kensington Palace continues to ignore the building chatter and questioning around Catherine's whereabouts, or will we get some sort of photo this week of a demure Catherine with a small smile on her face sitting behind the desk, going through cards of her own, presumably in business casual? We shall see. But that's why Kate Middleton is all over your feeds.